Hi, I'm Brandon Laverne, and today I'm trying to help you understand how to work ActionScript. Now, in order to fit this under 10 minutes, I couldn't exactly explain most of it and try to help you understand, but I put it under 5 simple steps, and hopefully you'll understand. Now, I'll be doing this a little fast, so try to bear with me and experiment in the meantime. But if you ever get frustrated, please don't give up like I did. Alright, so, step 1, basic statement. Now, what I'm going to show you here is basically what an everyday script should look like. Now, this may get a little confusing, and you may not understand what I'm going to type, but that is fine because I'll explain that later on. Plus, the index is in the video description if you really want to know what everything does, or basically what was in this video. Alright, so I just typed in on clip event load, meaning that pretty much means when the movie loads, so that's called the action, pretty much I consider a condition, like when the movie loads, or if the variable equals that. Alright, so when I, I put when the movie loads, and you always have to put that left bracket there after your condition. Always put the brackets. So, when the movie loads, left bracket, um, variable HP equals 100, right bracket. So, what that does is, when the movie loads, well, it starts to code by the left bracket, and variable HP equals 100. So, basically, the character's HP would equal 100 as soon as the movie loads, right bracket. So, that's pretty much a simple script, and if you run it, it will won't have any errors whatsoever if you check on it. So that's pretty much what it should look like and I hope I covered that for you. Step 2. Basic actions. Now I'm going to show you both basic actions that there is for action script like this one for example. Stop. It doesn't need any brackets whatsoever because it's just a single statement. Stop. Two parentheses and symbol. No description whatsoever. I don't even need to tell. I don't even need to tell. Alright so go to and stop just Whatever frame you put this action in just goes to and stop whatever frame you specify. So, what I'm going to do here is, you know how when you, whenever usually someone puts a button tutorial on, like how to make buttons? They always tell you the script, but you don't understand how it works. So here I'm going to help you understand basically what it means. So, on release. Now what that release means is when you release the button on the mouse, meaning when you click it basically. And on, what it means is on the button. So, on the button, and when you release it, left bracket, whatever condition or whatever you want to put there. So, which would be, go to and play, and put, I don't know, frame 2. Okay? Seems pretty simple. And then you put the right bracket. Always put those two brackets. So, basically what it means is, oh, I, I checked it, it didn't work because it was on the timeline. I'm just showing you an example. So, whenever you push that button, on the button, or basically the movie clip, Go to and play frame 2. I hope this will help you understand basically what everything means. Now, step 3. Variables. Possibly the most important part of any game making or flash interactivity whatsoever that considers variables. Like, you know, I'd say you're in a flash and you're, you know, like you have money and you use it. And like, I don't know, you bought like an apple or something and you lost 10 money. So like, what that is, the money is variable. That's what pe pretty much people use, is everything variables to set money or health or whatever. So I'm just writing, writing random stuff here, which pretty much means set variable poop equals 50 and Neopets and, you know, whatever. I'm just writing stupid stuff. So what it does is simply what it says. Um, when the movie loads, or basically whenever the frame loads, because this is in the frame action script, um, well, just put those variables to whatever they mean. If you check it, it has no errors because it's very simple. So, um, yeah, it always works. Alright, now, step four. On clip events. This one may get a little, maybe, confusing. So, let's, go, let's say I just go to a movie clip and I want to add some actions to it. I don't know, just out of, instead of using the f timeline, I just take a movie clip and do it. Sometimes you need to do it anyways. So, let's say I just wanted this thing to make the variable money equal 50. Alright, so you just type in the variable, you know how to type in the variable thing. Money equals 50, and well, see if it works. Uh, uh oh, what's this? You need an on clip event handler. What's that? Is it an action? Is it a certain condition? Well, actually, yeah, it is a condition, and it is an action. You have to put it on any movie clip script you use. So, basically, what you would put your, here is on clip event before anything you write. Because you see, when you add, well, an action to a frame, it's definitely different from adding an action to a movie clip. Because the frame automatically sets it on the flash. And when you put it on a movie clip, 
it's not set on the timeline. So what you have to do is put an on clip event handler to make it go on that timeline. I may be going a little fast here for you to understand, but then again, um, I have to put this on the 10 minutes. I hope you understand. So on clip event, I'm putting. Well, you have to put it since it's a movie clip. And I think I covered this before. I'm just gonna put in load. What that means is when the movie loads, and I think I've said that before. They also show you a bunch of other things you could put in, if, but you're not really interested in that. This is for the basics. So when the movie loads, left bracket, whatever you want it to do. So what do we want it to do before? Oh yeah, make the variable money equal 50. So you just type in money equal 50 and put the right bracket. So when the movie loads, set your variable to 50, left bracket, right bracket. Simple as that. You check to see if it works and all. It, it will work. There's also other actions such as on clip event enter frame, but that's described in the video description. That's in the index. Um, if you want, go check it out for further information. Now for the last step, global levels. This one is probably the most confusing, or I think on clip events is the most confusing. But whatever you do, sometimes whenever you put a number in there, like showing health for your variable, sometimes it doesn't show the number. Sometimes it just says N A N. What the heck does that mean? Is there something wrong in my game? Do I have to start over? Well, before you jump to conclusions and decide to screw over your flash, I'm going to help you out. You see, when you ever you type in on movie event um, thing, it searches basically for a certain level of the variable. This is hard to explain, so I actually took the liberty of drawing this to help plan it out. Now, this tower doesn't exactly have a name for the variable, so you could just call it the Tower of Holy Goodness for all I care. It doesn't really matter anyways. All I'm doing this for is to help it, basically you explain it in a visual concept way. So, there's four floors, and the bottom one is called root. What that, that's pretty much the one that the script looks for most, the root. Now, whenever you set an on movie clip event, basically what it does is look for the closest one to the bottom, which would be root. So the only way you could put it on to root, the, basically the bottom, you have to put that certain script in. Now the top one's global. That, you're probably wondering about, well, I don't really know how to use that one yet. So, um, don't ask about that one. Um, I don't even know how to do that one yet. Um, I might put a bulletin up for that, or maybe in video description put an index keyword. Oh, and if you're wondering what those green and yellow ones are for, honestly, I really don't care. Okay, I just put that there just to make it more visual. So, on movie clip event, basically, oh, left bracket, when the movie loads, now you have to put in that root code. So what you do is you put in lower, well, that underline thing, you type in root, and, well, you put that period there, and they give you a bunch of things here for other global levels, but you don't really need to put that there. So what, what you want to do is put money in here. So when the movie loads, left bracket, Set the, set the variable money to roots and set it to value to 100, right bracket. So basically everything's fine and you won't see that NAN anymore. So basically that's pretty much it for the global variables. Always put that root script in there. Now that really was the basics and yeah, it was pretty short. I'm sorry, but I had to fit this all into 10 minutes and I didn't want to make two separate videos. And this thing was really pissing me off because I want to upload and I will upload more tutorials and maybe the other scripts too. I might even put some game tutorials up eventually because I know how to make RPGs now. Like RPG Battle System. Alright, so I'm sorry and I, I really hope this actually helped you understand more about Action Script. And from the index in the video description, I hope you get to experiment and make your own. And well, that's pretty much it. Um, good luck on your flashes and I hope I can help. I hope I made it help. Bye.